Outsiders fans will remember Zion Lights. Who could forget that name? <laughs> Zion Lights was the passionate climate change believer and Extinction Rebellion activist who was at the forefront of the 2019 climate demonstrations in London. Zion then appeared on the BBC in an interview with Andrew Neil and had quite an epiphany. You'll, you will remember she then came on Outsiders last year to discuss how she had quit Extinction Rebellion because she realised that the solution to climate change was in fact nuclear power, abundant clean energy with zero emissions. Zion has now established her own activist outfit, cheekily with the same initials as Extinction Rebellion, called Emergency Reactor. Zion, welcome back to Outsiders. How are you? Hello, I'm very good, thank you. Now, Zion, I looked for you in amongst the footage of all those Extinction Rebellion red rebel dancers in all the crazy makeup, and I didn't recognize you. I'm sure you were in there somewhere, but anyway, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. <laughs> busy. Um, now, tell us how you're busy. Tell us about Emergency Reactor. Tell us about your, the, your new program, what you're doing. There was a great article in The Australian the other day about you. Uh, tell us what you've been up to and your, and your thoughts going forward. Well, I've mostly been trying to work on public engagement and help people to understand that we need nuclear energy. Um, you find the same people who are worried about climate change are kind of referring to the IPCC report saying, you know, it's drawing our attention to what's happening around the world, but they tend to ignore the section on energy. That's by Working Group 3, and it has decarbonisation pathways in there, and all of those pathways say we need lots and lots of nuclear energy to make this happen. And what I found um, through being in a lot of these um, activist, green activist groups for a long time is that they sort of re reject that element of climate solutions, if you like. And it's not just about climate, it's also about, you know, air pollution. A lot of people die from fossil fuel related to air pollution. You know, nuclear is just the best option. You look at so many things, you look at land footprint, it's very small because it's energy dense. It's, you know, it, we should be building these reactors everywhere. And that's quite a controversial thing to say, especially for someone in this space, in the environmental space, I'm trying to change that. So I've been working with organizations all around the world to help educate them and help them get the message out there. And I think actually you can't talk about climate and climate solutions without talking about nuclear. It's just not possible. You're, you're ignoring a big, big, you know, part of what we need to, to address all of the issues that we're facing right now. And actually we need more energy. Not even if it wasn't a climate crisis, we need more energy. We all use huge amounts of energy. We're very good at finding new ways to use lots of energy, things like cryptocurrency now, using vast amounts. That's not going to stop. That's always going to be the case. So we just need to make sure we have lots of clean, abundant, cheap energy for everybody. It seems like a no-brainer to me. But um, yeah, I've been, so I've been working with um, Voices of Nuclear in France. We just did a projector action a few days ago where we We've both got some went photos up, uh, of that, Zion. We'll put those photos yeah. up as you keep talking. Yeah. And just tell so me So here this. it was... You're, 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 tell us about Britain and nuclear power, because there is nuclear power in Britain, but are you arguing for more nuclear power or a better mix? What is it you are arguing well, for in Britain? Well, actually, in Britain, most of our reactors are old, and I think 14 and 15 of them are going to be shut down in the next few years. They're not going to be renewed. So we need to build new. And, and, you know, bear in mind, that's old tech, that's kind of reactors that were built 30 years ago. So actually, no, more than 30 years ago, kind of... 70s, 80s. So actually, we need to be building as many as possible, as many new ones as possible. It's, the tech is so good now. I mean, you've got you've got tech in other countries where people are building them, you know, fresh. It, it takes three or four years. And the new tech, they can even recycle the waste. We're so far behind technologically. I think it's actually kind of embarrassing and we really need to be <laughs> investing in this now. And it brings and, and lots of jobs as well years, to people. You're light years ahead of us. Rita. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it's kind of ironic that the biggest opponents of uh, nuclear are climate change activists who should be embracing it. But who, what demographic is really stopping this progress? Is it the baby boomers or is it the youngsters, the millennials and the Gen Z who are most opposed to nuclear power? It's completely the boomers, it's completely the boomers. All the opposition I get oh. is from boomers. And um, actually, I've been doing talks to university students, to younger people and to millennials, and they're much more easily convinced because you just so 
to show them the data, they look it up themselves, they fact check it, and they kind of go, oh, okay, maybe I was a bit wrong there. <laughs> Whereas some of the old school environmentalists are just like, they dig their heels in, they can be quite aggressive. It's been very difficult actually challenging them. I've had lots of articles written about me, but you know, they're wrong, wrong. And actually, they, let's be honest, what has their anti-nuclearism achieved in all this time? If we had built these reactors in the 70s, like France did, France has a very low uh, clean energy mix, low carbon mix. If we had put them in the 70s, we wouldn't have climate change. James. What have they contributed? But Zion, but Zion, isn't the issue here that so many of the activists who are anti-nuclear are really anti-energy because they're anti-capitalist and they do not want to see a society that has large amounts of inexpensive and uh, carbon, low carbon intensity energy because simply they actually see that as the real demon. They're not trying to fight against carbon. They're actually trying to fight against capitalism and for a socialist revolution where everybody is poor, but somehow I suppose maybe more authentic authentic or something. There is, there is a, especially again among the boomers, there is this whole idea of kind of going back to nature and you know just not using not using tech. And there was even a really prominent environmentalist here, again a boomer, um, and he wrote an article ca calling me out. And he said in the article, "We can't solve climate change using technology, using nuclear technology. We can't use technology." And then the next line said. We can do it with renewables, but renewables <laughs> are technology. <laughs> renewables are technology. They require mining. Yes, require, they yes. have a massive carbon footprint. Yes. And I just, I mean, I did respond to him, tried to kind of engage him on Twitter, but he didn't, he didn't respond. That's, that's the mentality that we're dealing with. Um, there's a lot to unpick there, but I do find that, again, younger people they want their tech. They, they recognize that they use lots of tech and they need, you know, they need their phone to be charged. So they're a bit more, um, amenable to listening to ideas about energy, but there's still that old packet, which I would say, you know, they're still like influencing politicians, they're heavily, heavily lobbying, uh, heavy lobby groups, you know, Greenpeace, WWF, EU, a lot of these groups, they're now, now lobbying the EU not to include nuclear in the green taxonomy, which is why um, I did this collaborative action with France to draw attention to that and to say, actually, it's just really unscientific and you can't just say that because that's your ideology and that's dangerous, actually. Zion Lights, always fantastic to talk to you. Now, let's hope some young Australians, we'll, we'll give up on the boomers, but the young Australians who want to get in contact with you, they can do that through Energy Reactor, correct? Emergencyreactor.org. Oh, sorry, em Emergency Reactor, and uh, maybe we need an Australian chapter of Emergency Reactor as well. Uh, thanks so much, Zion Lights. Thanks for coming Thank on, you. and we'll chat to you again. Cheerio.